What's up guys? Welcome back to the captain's vlog. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I apologize for that. Um, it's been a combination of a few things. We've been caught up with charters, which is a good thing. And um, you know, I don't always film on charters. I just I just don't want to put my customers on the spot and like force them to be on YouTube. Not everybody wants to be on YouTube. So in order for me to get this kind of content, I literally have to go out like on my own time. You know with people I know that are willing to go on YouTube so that's like an extra added cost and extra added time so that's one of the reasons why you haven't seen a video from me but today uh, we are headed out I have uh, one of my buddies with us we're gonna head out and I'm gonna show you a cool technique you guys remember him mr. pay red is here so let's see if he has some good uh, some good dance moves <laughs> for us but yeah, we're gonna head out and I'm gonna show you a cool technique we're gonna do. It's uh, it's pretty roots. You're gonna freak out, but it's pretty effective. And um, yeah, so we're gonna head down to the gas station. We're gonna fuel up and hopefully we get a good day for you guys. So uh, stay tuned and uh, let's see what happens. Current fuel rate here is 578 right there. 578. 578 for regular. So that puts us at about 60 bucks, 10 gallons. We just topped off, so that's another reason why too I haven't been filming is with the cost of fuel. The cost of fuel has been gone up and um you know catch hasn't been that great too so that's a big reason why, but cool thing is, if you guys like to see this content, we started a Patreon account. Uh, the link is in the description below. So if you guys want to donate for <laughs> to get this content going, it'll help out with the cost and the fuel cost. But if not, we really appreciate it if you just hit the like and uh, subscribe. But um, yeah, that's it. We're gonna head out now. here on the water um, it is a bit windy we're expecting a storm coming so it's like right before the storm but if you're wondering we don't have any rods and uh, you're gonna experience a pretty traditional way we're gonna be using hand lines so this is exciting you can we're gonna be hauling fish in bonita specifically tuna so we're gonna be hauling them in by hand so we're gonna run some little lures and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up so how we do it is we basically let out a leader and um, we count from the leader out. So once the leader is out in the, in the water, then we count um, how many arm lengths or fathoms. So today we'll probably go with like 15 maybe. So it's like one, two, three, five, So we're using like our hand lines are mono, but it's like it's like 400 pounds of mono, so it's easy to grip. We're obviously gonna use gloves. And so basically, what we're gonna do is we're uh, connected to a bungee. Um, so this bungee absorbs the the impact or on the initial strike, and when this thing stretches, that's when we'll know I have a fish. So we won't really know. There's no like alarm system or like a clicker system that'll tell you that we got a fish so you, you really have to pay attention to the bungee stretching so we basically we just tie a, a knot here like a clove hitch and it goes around the bungee and we just tighten it up just like that and we just did an extra security like that so 
That way we can adjust the line a uh, different length if we wanted to. We're gonna try with 15 for now, 15 fathoms. And then um, we'll try with 15 fathoms for now and then we'll see if they don't wanna buy it, we can always let it out further. But uh, yeah, that's a good start. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can get us a fish. Stay tuned. We're basically trolling these lures, but the reason why we we're using hand lines is because when we're in the tuna school, uh, it could get really sharky, so it's it's faster for us to recover the, the line. It's like every pool is like five or six feet. So you imagine that pool after pool, uh, you can gain the line pretty fast and it's easy to reset the line. So once we stack all the line in the boat, we dispatch the fish, we secure the fish, we just toss the lure out, put the boat in gear and it'll stretch out right exactly where we marked it. So we don't have to like let out and you know adjust tension blah 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 just takes too much time so this is more of like a quick run and gun commercial fishing type of uh, technique so you'll get to see it so all the next footage is gonna be on the GoPro because it's gonna get wet and crazy and bloody so enjoy it Bigger ones, bigger ones. 
There you go. So usually when one guy gets a fish and the other guy doesn't get a hit, we try to oh, bring shit. it in, but oh see? We lost it. Anyways, usually we'll try and bring it in because we'll get multiple hits by bringing it in. And unfortunately Joe is a little rusty this morning. Need is a uh, Cheerios today. Oh. Okay, so we made it back. We got the boat in tow. The wind started cranking up. We lost, oh, I didn't lose six mahi. Somebody lost six mahi in a row. It, but it happened. It, 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 that's how fishing is, man. And some days are like that. You can't really complain, you know. I'm coming back to get them tomorrow. <laughs> oh, so he's coming back for revenge, but we had a good time. We got how many bonitas do you think we got? Oh, nine, ten? Uh, yeah, nine or something like that. Um, they weren't as biting as much as we anticipated it to bite, but um, they were there. Um, I think it's going to be a good summer with them around, but uh, yeah, it was a good time. So we're going to head back home and uh, thanks for tagging along with us. What do you have to say, Joe? God bless you all. God bless. See you guys next time. You! You! Shoot. <laughs>